All right, y'all. Love and Hip Hop New York season eight, episode eighteen, reunion part one. Let me first start by saying, if I, if if y'all hear me tasting myself, okay, I just like I said, I mean, it's fresh. Then a motherfucker just made some. I can't even do it right. Just made some pound cake. It's delicious. So that's what it is. It's fucking good. I really like real talk on, on some real shit. I had sugar craving, okay? And I'm pretty sure most of us keep butter, eggs, sugar, and flour in the house with some vanilla. Do it every time. I wish I had some, um, some, uh, what you call them? 90%, you know, dark chocolate, chocolate chips. Go on now. But anyway, <clears throat> so. I guess we start off with Anai. Okay, so we start with Anais. They speak about the orgy, so the orgy between her and Jonathan. Then we got Anais and Rich. So Rich says that he wanted to see the divorce papers, you know, before anything solidified. But it was just like, no, that's bullshit. Because do you? Because so, they even asked him like, so if she provided that, would the relationship still would have progressed on? We all know Rich fuck boy, so it don't fucking matter. Ruben tells Rich he needs to learn how to be a man. You know, bringing up the whole Jacque thing was just, you know, eh, wasn't the business. And John didn't even say that when Rich brought up Jacque <clears throat> to Ruben at the single release, that was a bitch move. Everybody agree, I agree. We got Brian Bianca. Bianca says she doesn't have a problem with her. But when you say every time I see you, it's up, well, it's on. And Brie even even said that is exactly what she said, which I wish this would have like truly been solidified earlier in the season because I really do feel like a lot of people went through this season hating Bianca and her actions. <clears throat> but <clears throat> this whole scene solidified everything for me. <clears throat> now, Remy, you know, is trying to, you know, set Brie straight. Just like, you can't be saying shit in your music or whatnot, and you can't be sitting because she breathing says like, yeah, I said that, but then you know you jump and you do this and bring me whole thing is you can't sit here and say every time I see you it's on and then try to set parameters in terms of how the shit finna go down. It don't work like that. <clears throat> And then Remy bring and Remy brings up her height, saying that you know you small, but I mean Remy, I love you, but I mean you tall, but last that I checked, I mean you did shoot a, shoot somebody in the stomach. Just saying, just saying, you're not really winning your argument here. <clears throat> so Dream Mariah say that they lost you know money because of this beef. So when this shit aired, they actually had things in the pipeline, but after seeing this whole entire debacle play out. They just fucking lost my because of it. But I was at least happy, even though <clears throat> I didn't agree with Remy bringing up her height. I was glad that Remy was able to try to speak some six and two. Or just like when I was locked up for some of the same shit right here, I wasn't thinking about a fucking record. I was thinking about my kids. I was thinking about my husband. I was thinking about my fucking sanity. So <clears throat> Yanny and Judy, Yanny and Judy happened. Y'all know I want fucking. I, I didn't care about it then. Don't care about it now. Yanny and Bianca. Bianca says she handles her business the best way that she knows how. Lil Mo pretty much tells her, and that's in reference to her popping off what what not. Lil Mo says, "Look, it's a lot of motherfuckers I hate in the industry, and I just gotta learn how to suck it the fuck up." And Papoose even says that labels don't want to associate themselves with somebody if they know that you're you're you uh, have a violent nature, and not just that, <clears throat> are, they're not. He didn't say this, but they're also not willing to take a risk on you when you haven't really shown that you're worth the risk. Like there's a lot of artists, devos and divas <clears throat> that they're only tolerated because that that uh record company knows that they are going to make money off of them. But somebody like Bianca, since you haven't put in the work and they're not gonna take that risk on you. Just not gonna do it. Jonathan and Trent, <clears throat> Jonathan shows his divorce papers. Now it was even mentioned, I forget who said, uh, no, John was just like, we both sit down, we both delete our grinder accounts and everything, and then Trent was like, yeah, and I added my right back, and Juju even said, the fact that you said that, and you <clears throat> don't feel a way about it, truly shows that you were being opportunistic. And, you know, he tries to play it off, but no, you're a fucking opportunist, and it's, <clears throat> it's fucked up because he thought that he was doing something, but you literally just played yourself on this fucking show, so kudos to you, bro, you played yourself. 
Jonathan talks about the conversion therapy, and Yandy's whole thing is she's just happy that he didn't drag his mother, and it showed everybody a different way to go about things, because he could have truly drugged her if he wanted to. <clears throat> we found out the little more pregnant, okay? Then we got Lame Czar. I must admit, his lineup was on point, because his lineup was on struggle this whole fucking season. But his lineup was on point this time, so I, I, I gotta give him that. I can't take that away from him. Sophia couldn't be there. Uh, <clears throat> Lames apologized to Jaquay. Jaquay was just like, hey man, she was bad. She took off my hand. Snoop just is saying to Jaquay, like, you ain't got to explain shit to this motherfucker. Lame says, um, he ain't. Oh, <clears throat> he said he got Sophia the doll because Mariah snuffed him. Mariah was mad that, you know, the doll cost more than the crystal that he bought. He's like, because you wasn't worth it, but you like, but you owe this motherfucking state because of me. Snoop is going off because they don't feel that nobody deserves to be entertained this motherfucker. Lames is like, make up your mind. You want to be a girl or a man. And Snoop says, that's really all you got is my sexuality. Plus, I get more pussy than you do. He was like, you will never get more pussy than me. Like, <laughs> like he was so fucking offended by that. And then uh, he was like, act like a fucking female. Like, act like the fucking female you are. And Snoop rushes his ass and... It'll pick up from there. So that's all I got. Miami's next.